Welcome to this Operations Bridge video tutorial. In this video you will learn how a typical operator workflow looks like. In the observe phase the question is where do I have problems and what is the most important event to process next. You will see how the monitoring dashboard and event filtering can help you with that. Then in the engage phase you have to analyze the problem further you will learn how the information in the event details can guide you in the problem resolution via instructions and how you can use performance dashboards, tools or runbooks to collect additional information or even to solve the problem in the ACT phase. In that ACT phase, unsolvable events can also be forwarded to an incident management process. Typically, an operator would work with a custom-built My Workspace page, like this one, that an administrator created for the operator or an operator group and for the specific needs of that group. Here you see such a page which consists of a monitoring dashboard, a view explorer and an event browser component which can be used to monitor the environment and to observe problems. The other components on that page will be used when analyzing a problem or a specific event. More on that later. So let's take the role of Peter the operator, who is together with other operators responsible for certain areas that you see in the monitoring dashboard component. AOS, which stands for Advantage Online Shopping, Postgres, WebLogic, and events integrated via the VMware vRealize operations connector, short VROPS. There are currently four events assigned to your workgroups and two events directly to you. Let's assume you should first process all events directly assigned to you. There's only one minor event that you have to care about. Before starting to analyze it, click on Work On to indicate to the other operators that you are working on it. Now let's analyze the event details of this event. It has some instructions. The instructions guide you in the problem resolution. In this case, they mention a command to execute and this command is available as user action right within the event details. Click the play button to execute it. This can take a while and then you can see the result of the action and the action output as an annotation. In this case, the action failed and the problem was not easy to solve but requires further modifications on the system itself. As this is done by another group, you want to open a corresponding trouble ticket for that, which can be done by clicking on Transfer Control to Trouble Ticket. Click OK to confirm. The event details now show that this was forwarded and you can concentrate on other problems. As there are no more events directly assigned to you, you can now check if there are problems in the areas you are responsible for as part of a larger operator group. You can click on each of the widgets to quickly filter the event browser and change the view in the View Explorer. There seems to be a major problem in one of the Postgres databases. Explore now the other components that help you in analyzing the problem and the impact this problem might have. The health indicator component shows in which area health is impacted. It could be the availability, the performance or other health aspects of that configuration item. The health top view can be used to check the health of related CIs and to determine which business service or business application is affected. Here you can see that the health of the system running the database is fine, which is helpful to eliminate potential causes. The changes in incidents component shows recent changes, also of impacting CIs, which can be very helpful in case a problem was caused by a change. The event details also provide valuable information to help you analyze a problem. First of all, have a look at the priority field. The priority is automatically calculated based on the event severity and the business criticality of business services which are related to the configuration item of this event. The event details also contain the time when the problem occurred, when the first event about the problem was received, there might be a time difference between the two, 
and in case of duplicate events when the last duplicate event was received. This is important information that tells you when the problem started and how recent it is. Let's now select the other area to see what's going on there. There seems to be a problem of one transaction of the Advantage online shopping application. However, with a quick look at the health top view, you can see that only one transaction has a problem, not the whole application. And a quick look at the KPI over time status shows that the status was OK during the last hours. Actually, wasn't there a problem just recently about the same transaction? Let's check the event repository. You can launch it via the context menu. Go to Related CI, Show, Closed Events. In this case, we know it must have been in the last 14 days. Set the time filter accordingly. You can use all sorts of filters to narrow down your search. Ah, here it is. With a double click, open the event details of the closed event. And have a look at the solution. In this case, it says that the problem occurred only once so far and should be further watched and that a trouble ticket should be created when it occurs five times a week. OK, with that information, you close the event and the closed event browser and then you can add a similar solution to the active event and close it as well. In the meantime, someone else assigned another event to you, as you can see in the monitoring dashboard. Let's click on Assign to me. This is an example where a cause event has been assigned, but with that assignment, automatically all related symptoms have been assigned to you as well, so that you can see the impact of the problem and also to avoid that other operators start working on symptoms. The cause symptom relationship is also visible in the event details. If you select a cause event, then you can see a related events link with which you can open all symptom events, which could be multiple ones. For a symptom event, you can find the title of the cause event under correlation Hover over it to see the full title or click on it to open the course event details. Let's now explore some more options you have in the engage phase when you want to analyze a problem. For example, the instructions of the Postgres event mention that there is a performance dashboard available that can be launched to analyze the problem. You can access the performance dashboard via the context menu or the event details. Click on Related CI and on Show Performance Dashboard. This opens a default dashboard, but you can also switch to other performance dashboards. Tools or Operations Orchestration Runbooks are also available to you to gather more information about a problem or even to fix a problem. The list of tools that you see here depends on the CI type. For databases, you will see other tools than for computers. You will also see tool suggestions here if you provide feedback after a tool execution. You can also easily invoke runbooks. If you as operator realize that one of the provided runbooks consistently solves the problem, 
then it's time to tell your OBM administrator because in that case it would make sense to create a rule that automatically executes the runbook whenever the specific event occurs to automatically solve the problem without operator intervention. This completes our overview of a typical operator workflow and of the various components in OBM that help you as an operator to determine where problems exist in your IT environment, to analyze these problems and especially what is the impact of a specific event, and to gather more data via performance dashboards or via tools and runbooks, and ultimately to solve problems. To learn more about the operator workflow, please see the Operations Bridge Manager online help.